not What's up, guys? So, trying to get this meal in. About to go hit legs in about 45 minutes with Austin. Um, hopefully, you don't get to see any of this food on the floor. But um, I'm also about to go get my hair cut. It's basically the equivalent of uh, getting my lashes done, my nails done, and all that good stuff because of. Uh, look a little busted when I don't have a haircut just like most guys but um anyway hope you're having a great day it is uh what's today Wednesday today's Wednesday today is Wednesday the 19th so we're pumping out our second video for the practice what you preach um YouTube series so I hope you enjoyed the first one uh and cheers to number two let's get it Say up, follow him on the ground, all that good stuff. For your next cut, guarantee you, uh, it'll be the best cut of your life. And just like that, now we got lashes, we got nails, all that. You feel me? 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need the wider stance. You gotta go oh, wider. Wider? Yeah. Damn. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Week two. Thanks everyone for tuning in to week one and uh, seeing Edgar's back workout. We're uh, now here, and we let you guys vote. It was either a shoulder or a leg day, and as the attire, you could tell that it's leg day. He's got the Converse, got the Iron Bully shirt, he got the shorts. <laughs> we're gonna hit some legs. So we're gonna get started on a leg extension. Uh, this is my favorite thing to start with, just get the knees warm. He's got old man knees, so we gotta make sure that uh, you know we don't injure anything right now. So make sure his ACLs, meniscus, all that stuff is good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna jump into some leg extension, start with uh, some high rep sets, 15 to 20 reps, and then we'll see you guys after. Feather in there already. <laughs> you should put a little Tweety Bird. Five. <laughs> <laughs> one. One. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five more. Okay. Ben, ben, yeah. Oh, hell no, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Walt. <laughs> I've seen him do, do it before. It. I he know. He's wrestling there, bro. Three, one more, one more, one more. Wow. Do you guys notice, too, when he's uh, doing these, it's a nice, slow negative, and then explodes up. Slow negative. Explodes up. You want to make sure on this movement that you're controlling the, the weight and controlling the movement the whole time. It's um, when you train legs, you have hip flexion, like when you're squatting or doing a leg press, a lunge. And when you do these, it's knee flexion. So when you have knee flexion, um, these movements are going to be a lot harder on your knees, and everyone starts to have knee problems over time. So you really want to make sure you're controlling the weight, not just going super heavy and breaking your knees on these. One more, come on, come on. Ah! yesterday so it's gonna be hard for me to show how to do the movement correct so um, bear with me so this is a squat machine uh, a lot of gyms don't have this but it's just simulating a barbell squat so if you're following along um, like you guys did with the first workout um, 
You can do this if your gym has one. You can do a free weight squat. Um, you can even do a hack squat, a front squat, smith squat. Any of those will still mimic the same uh, muscles that this is uh, mimicking. So we're gonna go on here. Keep your feet pretty wide, um, like a little outside of shoulder width. That way you're working the adductors and a lot of the inner thigh as well. Um, and it'll take some pressure off your knees. You'll have your toes pointed slightly outwards, not completely forward, just slightly out so your knees can come out. Do this, keeping your chest up, back kind of large so your lower back is protected. Squatting down, and up, down, up. That hurts just a little bit. So now, Egg Girl go into it. We'll get started on this and hopefully we can go pretty heavy. Ass to grass. Come on. Don't go all the way forward. Just go back down. Back down right there. Keep that touch on the wall. One. Two. Two more. Yeah, guys. I don't know about today. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I'm gonna pull up the. Uh, I'll pull up the votes right now too, so I can show that one. Right. Seventy for leg day, four for shoulders. Ninety-nine for leg day, nineteen for shoulders. So what's that? Twenty-three for shoulders and one hundred and sixty-nine for. Legs. <laughs> Why would you do this to me, guys? <laughs> anyway, if you guys notice too when he's doing these. Squat down, coming up and right when he's hitting here, before the knees lock out, it's back down. You want to keep that constant tension on the quads. Locking out the top, you're just resting the muscle. Um, it can be bad for your hips a little bit and for your knees. So once you start going, just keep it going, keep moving. God, he on X Games mode. That's, That's a frog man right there. My knees, bro. My fucking knees are bad already. For all our sumo wrestlers out there. So just make sure your stance is wide and your feet are pointing. They're gonna be pointing more outwards than you are on the squat. And you're grabbing Hi. close. And make sure you sink your ass down. And you're pulling up. Don't use your back though, so you wanna just squat with the legs. Boom. Back up. Cool. So it's not like that, it's right there. See how my upper body's like in that same position the whole time? It's just my legs doing the movement. And we're gonna super set it with a walking lunge. We're gonna dumbbell walking lunge. We'll start with no weight for the first set, and then we'll do weight for the next one. Seven. So five more. One. Let's work. Get 
the fuck is that? to our last set of leg press. So we were gonna superset it with the stiff-legged deadlifts, but his lower back's getting some issues, getting some bad lower back pumps. So we're gonna stay away from that. Um, and we're just doing leg press, but we are working up now to a uh, top set. We're gonna have him go 10, I'm gonna strip the plate off. 10, I'm gonna strip the plate off, and we're gonna go 10. So this is really gonna fatigue his legs and really push him to the end. So uh, we're gonna finish strong. How much you How much you How much you Obviously, the pressure off his lower back, so we're gonna do a seated movement. So we're gonna do a seated leg curl. Um, on this one, we're just focusing on bringing the heel to your ass. Um, and when you do it, you want to point your toe towards you. A lot of people just let their foot loose. Um, if they're on a leg extension, 
they'll keep the toe pointed up, but when they're on this, they forget to. And when you do this, it's called dorsiflexion. It's how you completely um, contract the hamstring fully. So to get that full hamstring development, you want to make sure you're doing that. I know it's a little tweak, but it does help a lot. So. thinking life right now man. In our reality we're gonna have to do this one again. No lying, just pure transparency. This is the result of not pushing yourself through a real leg day until you have to. And even though I failed that some of the movements we're learning, learning from our mistakes. Yep. In progress, getting locked in. That way we don't continue to make the same mistakes throughout time. And anyone that watches this, tries to clown on them, or be funny, or think that he couldn't get through it, uh, one, there's no leg day like a true aesthetic leg day, I promise you. If you don't believe me, come try it yourself. But uh, what matters is that you push through it, you know? We're all gonna have different, um, you know, points of failure, we're all gonna have different strong points, different weak points. He's having, you know, we went over that he does have uh, certain injuries and whatnot. And so we're working around that and he's pushing through it and he's giving it his all. And that's really what matters at the end of the day is to just push yourself in here. It doesn't matter how heavy you're going, how light you're going, uh, how long, short, as long as you push yourself, that's the most important part. Um, and so anyone that does look at this and thinks that it's easy or whatever, I'd love for you to hit me up and come uh, experience a leg day with me and uh, we'll, we'll put it on camera and everything and we'll see how it is. Three. Here we go. Hold this next one at the bottom. Here we go. Hold it. One. Two. Ah. Again, again, again. Back down. Ugh. One, two, three. Again, one more like that. Ah. Okay, we're gonna rip it out for three. I'm gonna help you. We're gonna rip, I'm gonna help you. One. Ah. Two. Ah. One more. Ah. What are your immediate thoughts? Oh. I need my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Humbling experience. Humbling experience. Show him the quad bump. Yeah, you show him the quad. Oh. Welcome to the cool box. <laughs> Finished up with leg day, and he is walking funny. So the goal um, was achieved. We killed it. Started with some quads, uh, went to some big movements, some supersets. Finished with hamstrings, and uh, he pushed. So yeah, we checked the weight at the end. Oh, <laughs> he's about to fall, <laughs> but uh, the weight's coming down. So we'll have him do a fasted weigh-in at the shop probably this week. And then we'll also go over the supplement stack he's using for this weight loss transformation. But uh, yeah, if you guys stayed till the end of the video, thanks for uh, for watching. Thanks for watching this leg day. Hope you guys got some humor out of it. Hope you guys got some knowledge out of it. Um, but yeah, this is just the uh, moral of the story after watching this video, just push yourself, you know? Doesn't matter what level you're at. Um, you know, if you're a pro bodybuilder, a power lifter, you're just trying to get into shape, it's your first day in the gym, just push yourself. The most important thing is that you push yourself, yourself and uh, you know, you have fun with that. I know he was dying, but he was having fun. So we'll do leg day again next week. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>